All right, welcome to 3KMH and um, Friendly Neighborhood Surveyor. So I wanted to start uh, making some videos for the new guys or people that are curious about getting into the land surveying profession and kind of what it's all about or what we do right now. Um, just really quick, my background, I got into surveying in the late 80s. My dad was a land surveyor, spent about 30 years in the union. Uh, we're all from Southern or me and my family are from Southern California. Uh, I entered the union again back in, I think it was like 88, and uh, went through the apprenticeship program, got my uh, certified chainman, uh, LSIT, and um, took a break from surveying in the 2000s and got back in. My older brother, uh, surveyor, and my younger brother is uh, licensed in the state of California, and I work with him. I've worked with some big companies, uh, anyone from Southern California knows like Hunsacker, Adcan, uh, Mollenhauer Group. So uh, at the time, um, Hunsacker and Associates, I think we had 36 or 32 crews just at our one office. And um, primarily, my experience primarily and what we continue to do right now are boundaries, topos, and construction staking. Uh, we've recently, or over the last you know, four years, got into flying drones, and we do most of our own aerials. And um, my brother who's licensed, and then his partner who is licensed, uh, his partner is primarily from the office side. So he went to college, got his um, uh, a surveying degree, and then got his LS, and my brother's more on the, um, came from the field side. So... These videos are going to be from a field perspective, uh, and I think if you work with the, the average survey company out there throughout the U.S., you're going to do boundaries, you're going to do um, construction staking, and you're going to do two, um, topos, and a, a variation of, of all those. Uh, there are certain companies, like when I worked with Mollenhauer Group, they primarily did high-rises, and um, which is great experience. But uh, they only had a couple crews that did some uh, construction staking. But for the most part, they specialize in high rises. There are some um, companies that work with like Caltrans or any of the state departments of transportation. And you're going to be doing more highway and or freeway work. And the same goes with railroad and stuff like that. But I believe most uh, private companies are pretty well-rounded and do those three things. Um, boundaries, topos, construction staking on a uh, on a routine basis and we all do the same work but every state every company every person has their own style has their own way of doing things and or the trades that we work with are used to a certain way of working and none of it's right or all of it's right none of it's wrong um but you know we all have ego so we all think that we're the best i don't i really don't care so <laughs> Anyone who's ever watched my videos knows. So, it, so you guys who want to get into the field, you're going to be working outside, more than likely, if you're working for a private company, if you're going to be doing field work. So this first video is to let you know you're getting up early. Uh, we start our work day at 6. We're out of the office at 6. That's when our time begins. And... Then we're back at the office at about 2.30. So we have a pretty good rest of the day. Now, there's some crews out there that, um, you know, you guys work in 10-hour days and 12-hour days. It all depends on the company. All depends on, also all depends on the job, too. If you have heavy equipment waiting on you, you're going to be working some overtime. But you're outside. You're in the elements. Out in California, we got a lot of sun. We do have snakes. Um... We have uh, desert climate, mountain climate, um, the beach is fantastic, and uh, videos that I've seen from guys out working um, back east, midwest and stuff. I worked a little bit out in uh, North Carolina. It's a completely different game there than it is in California. You guys have your good stuff, you have your bad stuff, and so do we. So um, just be prepared for working outside. Dress code is dependent on your company. We, do, we don't do a lot of heavy construction work, so we're not required to wear hard hats all the time or safety glasses or, um, hell, boots for that matter. If we're working on the beach, 
we can wear shorts and tennis shoes and stuff. It's not required, but we do have jobs where we have to wear long pants and boots and hard hat and safety vests and all that stuff. It all depends on the company. It all depends on the, on the work environment as well. So, um, if you follow or if you follow any of the Facebook um, survey groups, you're going to see some of my postings and people bitching because we're wearing tennis shoes and shorts. And I guess we would be fired if we worked some other company. Well, we don't work for one other company. We work out in California. We don't have to shovel sunshine. So, um, but I do feel sorry for you guys that have to wear long pants in those hot, hot, hot days. So uh, dress, dress code. Depends on the company, depends on your work, you know, protect yourself. And then, um, uh, I would say right now, the biggest hurdle in, the, in, in, in surveying is a lot of us get nostalgic. We'll say, well, we used to use like plumb bobs. We used to use plumb bobs every freaking day. I hardly use my plumb bob now. There are still some companies that do that because maybe, um, we haven't, or maybe some companies haven't advanced that much in uh, technology. You know, we have, we use GPS, we use drones, we use robotics. Um, we're one man crewing at one time or a lot of times. And um, you just got to know how to check your work. Your plumb bob used to be a way to check your work and also be a way to stake stuff um, pretty quick and pretty efficiently. So technology has kind of taken over and not only do we have to know our job now now we have to keep up technology wise so my one um before i end this the one piece of advice i'd give to um to new surveyors is there's an app for the hp uh calculator you'll see probably most of your party chiefs are still carrying uh, either 48s or 11 c's or something like that in their pouch download that calculator and get used to using it uh, i think the vast majority of um, surveyors use hp and um so get used to using that. Um, it does not have an equal sign, but it's a calculator that it is, pro is programmable and um, is kind of like the standard in the trade. So first off, download that calculator, get prepared to work outside, protect yourself out there, stay hydrated and stuff, or the safety stuff that you need. Um, and um, I know, just, just get ready to learn, keep an open mind. Don't um, read too much into what other people do uh, because you may not be doing that where you work. So uh, I'll end that or end this video with that. And uh, next video, I think we're going to tackle boundaries. Like what is a boundary? And uh, just a simple, simple uh, definition of what's a boundary and why we have to do them. So that's it. Thanks, guys. Survey out.